What's up guys, it's NLW Figs here, back again with another video. Today, something a little bit different, less of a collection video and more just sort of a how-to and a little bit of a guide. A couple of tips and tricks for storing your wrestling figure accessories. As you can see, I've got this big box here, I've got a couple of other boxes, and I'll just go through this video and kind of show you what I do to organise my wrestling toys and my wrestling kind of accessories, the weapons, titles and what have you, and maybe it'll give you some ideas as to how you can properly store your uh, action figure accessories because especially now that Mattel and Jazzwares have the spare hands for wrestling figures that causes a lot of problems in terms of storage and all the little bits and pieces are difficult to kind of organize and keep away but in this video hopefully I'll give you some tips and tricks for that but before I get into it make sure you like the video and subscribe for more wrestling figure content but without further ado let's get into it so here I bought this from Ikea it's uh, a very standard, I don't know what quite to call it, but it wasn't uh, that expensive. It's like a chest of drawers type thing, kind of made of uh, wood. So at the top, I'll show you how I organise all my bits and pieces, because there's a couple of boxes here and there. And uh, yeah, this is just how I have recently started to organise my wrestling accessories. So we'll start off with this. And in here, we've got a bunch of different titles. Uh, this ranges from like the Intercontinental Championship, old, old Cruiserweight Championships, Money in the Bank, um, you know, a bunch of Ruthless Aggression stuff too. So these are all the titles that used to be in the WWE and um, aren't used anymore. Uh, so it, it works for me because I can kind of pick something out if I want to do like a classic, um, classic video or something like that. And then if I want a current championship to show off, maybe for like a review video or like a, a picture for... Um, Raw rebooked or Smackdown rebooked, then I'll head to this drawer which contains all of the current championships in wrestling at the moment, whether that be NXT, AEW or WWE, and it's just a, a collection of stuff there. Now you may be asking, where do I keep my NLW championships? Well, they are just at the bottom here, and if I can get them out in this little, uh, little box of championships, these are all the NLW championships that I use. So yeah, it's just a little way uh, getting like little boxes and even jewellery boxes are good for organising little bits and pieces like that. And up here as well, we've got just a box of steel chairs, barbed wire. So it's just kind of grouping your accessories just so that you can kind of easily get to them uh, when you need them. If you want to film or if you want to, you know, pose around with them. And likewise here, we've got a couple of ladders and tables in this drawer too. And here is where I keep most of my weapons so as you can see i've got this little box here for whether it be like fire extinguishers ring bells what have you in here i've got a couple of slammies some trash cans street signs tires what have you just all the smaller stuff uh, in this little box here that i can easily get to if i want to film like a hardcore match or something like that and uh finally in this little box here well this big box i should say at the bottom i've organized it with uh, a couple of like custom figure fodder so we've got some heads here. These are the ones that are like official releases um, and you're actually supposed to swap these heads. These ones are just ones that I've used for customizing and these ones are AEW and UFC. And then just a couple of like uh, accessories such as shirts and things. And here's like my Ultimate Edition box. So we've got Becky Lynch and a couple of spare arms for the Ultimate Editions. Here's some spare uh, like elbow pad stuff, some uh, arms, legs, just a bunch of different things really because I don't have that much fodder because I'm not heavily into customising but it's just something that I've uh, picked up on and uh, I realised I needed a way to kind of organise my heads. I've got a dozen uh, Triple H heads at the moment because I've been buying the suited figure for uh, a bunch of different customising purposes. And uh, speaking of, I've also got uh, a hand drawer. Now what are you, what are you asking yourself, what is a hand drawer? Well, this is what it is. So in here, if you can kind of see what's going on there, I'll turn up the exposure on it so you can kind of see it a little bit better. In here is all of my uh, wrestling figure hands. So this is something else I picked up from Ikea. We've got like uh, a bunch of different compartments here, some smaller compartments over there. And before I just had my hands in just one big carry case and it was so difficult if you wanted to have like a special pose or what have you with like the open arms or whatever. So what I did was I separated it into fists, open arms, open hands I should say, and then just a bunch of different ones here. So I kind of understand what's going on here. It may be difficult to see if you don't know the system and stuff, but you know, I've got like stuff like gloves, like that one, and then like peace signs and all sorts of different types of hand gestures that I've kind of grouped and organized. So for instance, if I want to get a Jeff Hardy figure and pose that, 
I can just pick up the, um, hold on, I'll focus in on that, pick up these uh, little hands here. So you've got that. And then this little drawer comes off. So I've also got some little bits and pieces down here to try and um, organize like some shirts that I haven't yet uh, organized properly. And if I can zoom out again and show you this, it is a drawer where I keep like all the sticks and stuff like the hammers um, that I can just like drop, drop in like their uh, stationery if you see what I mean. And we've got a couple of edge jackets, some milk for some reason. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, just more sledgehammers and crutches and stuff like baseball bats and things like that. Artist toolbox are also a great way to organize all your little accessories and things. So for instance, this one, I've got a little section filled with uh, glasses and more kind of headgear, stuff like that, like masks. And here we've got a couple of hats, like the Undertaker's hat, a couple of top hats, a couple of John Cena hats as well, and also a couple of like trousers and just spare kind of scarves and things for custom wrestlers or just if a wrestler wants to have like an entrance attire that's special, stuff like that. And again, like sheet masks. And in here we've got like water bottles and milk. And keeping with the uh, grouping theme, we've got a couple of Darby Allen skateboards as well as the briefcases here and some of the microphones that I've used in the past. And we move on and we've got, you know, necklaces and things of that nature and just bigger stuff that I couldn't fit in another box. So stuff like, you know, the toilet I mentioned in the bar video the other day and, uh, you know, barbells, snake, um, drone, the, a weird array of um, different uh, kind of accessories that I've built up over the years. But if you do collect wrestling figures and you're struggling to kind of organize your stuff, um, definitely pick yourself up an artist carry case because it's great for custom fodder and stuff like that and like jewelry boxes and things anything that has like small compartments that you can put in and organize stuff yeah it's really uh, efficient and it's helpful as well if you start accumulating a bunch of figures and you don't know where to put all these little bits and pieces that come with it you might be able to see as well underneath here i've got all of my different um, pop-ups and extreme sets pop-ups and stuff of that nature and at the back you can see like the cage pieces and again to the side more cage pieces that I've just kind of organized here so it's not a lot of space I'm working with at the moment but I'm trying to make use of the space and you can see I've kept a couple of figures here but I'll show that more in the, the figure collection that I do on Saturday on the main channel and you can see down here as well it's difficult to get out because obviously there's poles in the way but here is where I keep like stretches, a couple more tables and big boxes and stuff. And down here is where I keep my like, different ring ropes. And over here as well, we've got like, uh, you know, sort of green screen castles, set props, cars, you name it, a bunch of different stuff. And that just goes underneath this table. I might do a more detailed room tour perhaps in the new year, once I kind of settled on kind of a layout of everything. But that's all the accessories that go on under the table. And again, like this stuff, this stuff here too and all of these little accessories just go underneath here and it keeps it out of the way and then that means I can do the filming above and there you see the bar that I've uh, not taken down since uh, yesterday so there you go and there you have it now a lot of people might have thought this was a boring video so if you did I do apologize but I find it quite interesting to kind of organize stuff I know it's a real lame <laughs> thing to kind of brag about and talk about really organizing your your accessories and stuff but it's something that I wish I'd known sooner because before it was difficult to find uh, figures and bits and pieces and chairs and stuff and I've lost so much over the years but now I've gone kind of got uh, an interesting um, way of looking at things where I can group stuff together and not lose them as often and it's easier for me now to do NLW because I can just know exactly where stuff is and use it and yeah it's just great so I definitely highly recommend getting an artist carry case if you are um, a collector of wrestling figures and even stuff like this down below where I've got the hands in the little compartments any jewelry boxes and stuff of that nature they're uh, really useful. But that is it from me. Let me know what you thought of the video by commenting down below. How do you organize your wrestling figures and toys and such? Let me know in those comments below. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe to NLW Figs for more wrestling figure content. That's it from me. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later.